Groovies, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Dominique LaRue, and I am here with another video for y'all today. We're gonna get into this makeup look right here. It's been so long since I actually sat down and did color and, you know, try to get creative with the makeup on myself. So, here we are. Also, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already a part of the family, make sure that you become a part of the family. I need you here. I need you tuned in and tapped in with me so that we can keep spilling tea, honey. So, if you're interested to see how I achieve this look, make sure that you keep on watching. So, I'm just going to start by brushing my eyebrows upward just to smooth them out and make them real neat. And then I'm going to outline the bottom of my brow with the pencil, of course. And then I'm going to go to the front of my brow. I always start in the middle. And then just fill it in with small, soft strokes. And then brush it back out with my spoolie. Then I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to put it on an angle brush. This is a uh, Morphe angle brush, the one with the spoolie on the end. And I'm going to clean up under my brow with that. Make sure I get it nice and smooth. Then I'm going to take a buffing brush just to buff that out so that there aren't any harsh lines when I add my eyeshadow base. Then I'm going to add my P. Louise uh, Rumor Eyeshadow Primer all over my lid and buff it out with that same buffing brush till it's nice and even. And then I'm going to take these three colors from my Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm going to take my first color, which will be my crease color, and put it in the crease. <laughs> so I'm going to put that all over my crease area and just in circular motions kind of buff it out a little bit. Then I'm going to take what would be considered more so like my transition shade. And I'll list all these colors um, in the description box or I'll put it on the screen. Because um, I can't remember exactly what color names they were right now. But we're just going to brush that out and get ready to cut our crease. Boop. So now I got my P. Louise base. And I'm going to use that with a flat shadow brush and carve out my cut crease. And make sure you go really slow when doing this um, to make sure that your line is nice and crisp and clean. Because if not, it's going to be ugly. Period. Now that we got that down, I'm going to take my original crease shade and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my cut crease. So basically, I'm going to use the same colors that I used in my crease area to go into like a gradient effect on my crease. So we're just adding a little more in the outer corner for some depth purposes. And I'm so sad this part of the video got cut out, but I did just with a regular flat shadow brush apply the this pretty mint green color on my lid. So this was a fail. I tried to put eyeliner in the cut crease, but it didn't come out right because the eyeliner was dried up. So we just gonna keep that how it is and we don't worry about that. So I'm wiping under my eyes just to get everything nice and clean for my face makeup. I'm applying my primer here, and I'm just uh, putting that all over my face with a flat Real Techniques foundation brush. And then I'm taking some of my e.l.f. primer spray, and then I'm going to put my Born This Way foundation. I'm in the shade Spiced Rum. Oh, Lord. I got foundation everywhere. I'm in the shade Spiced Rum, and I'm going to apply that with my Morphe M504 brush, I swear, by this brush to apply my foundation and 
and then I'm gonna go up on my forehead and try my best not to warm my brows because I didn't apply any product to the top of my brows. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm just kind of over that now. I don't, I just don't do that no more. Make sure you get them temples, honey. And my nose. Sometimes I forget to put foundation on my nose. Now that we got that going, we're going to go ahead and highlight. Um, this is like the facelift technique. So I put a little near my nose and then we go upward. I'm using the MAC 24-hour concealer. Um, and it dries really fast. So if you're going to do both eyes at the same time, make sure you go in with a wet beauty blender and just kind of go back and forth between the two, blending them out. And so I take it down under my nose just so that everything is nice and seamless. And then I apply my highlight to my cupid's bow, my chin, down the bridge of my nose because I like to be, I like a very snatched nose, honey. I'm talking about surgery. And then my forehead, of course. And blend that out with my Wet Beauty Blender. And blend that out. So I use my Beauty Blender to blend out pretty much everywhere on my face with the highlight except for down the bridge of my nose. Down the bridge of my nose, I use the buffing brush so that it'll just be more precise as opposed to the beauty blender because it's not, it's really not small enough for me to highlight the way that I want my skinny nose <laughs> plastic surgery highlight to look. Then I'm just going to apply uh, pretty much the product that was left over on my contour brush to my temples because I don't already don't have a very big forehead, so I didn't really add any more product here. Um, and then I'm going to carve out my cheekbone by following the split in my lips up, you know, to my ear. So really giving facelift as far as the contour is concerned here today and then I'm on a contour you know and make my double chin go away y'all see what's going on boop boop and we're going to blend that out with an even smaller buffing brush um because again I want my nose to be given plastic surgery so I'm blending that out with an even smaller brush to make sure that my nose is as slim as I can get it and I did speed this up. I'm not actually moving this fast. The other parts of the video aren't sped up, but this is because, yeah, I just wanted y'all to see how snatched. Then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and I'm gonna apply that everywhere that I highlighted my face. that on my cupid's bow as well because I do tend to get pretty oily around my mouth sometimes so I make sure that I have powder on my chin <clears throat> and in my cupid's bow and my laugh lines then I'm applying to my forehead of course and I'm going to take a small eyeshadow blending brush and apply the powder down the bridge of my nose Then I'm going to take my um, Real Techniques powder brush and I'm going to carve out my cheekbone as well with the setting powder. Then I want to take my I Love Revolution contour chocolate palette and contour my cheeks. I always make like a fish face when I contour my cheeks so that I can get the highest parts of my cheekbones basically. And applying that to my temples. And again, I have a small forehead. Making sure we get real snatched under that double chin. Making sure those cheekbones are nice and contoured. 
and then I'm going to contour the sides of my nose. Again, y'all, we doing surgery. See how concentrated I am? Performing real surgery. <laughs> and I really like to get um, right here in this area between my eye and like the bridge of my nose. I concentrate some of the powder there because it really just, it gives it a more slimming look um, from the top of the nose. And then I just put a little down um, near the tip of my nose and then just blend it on down the side. And then I wipe all the excess setting powder off of my face. And then I'm going to apply those same um, colors that I put into my crease on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to line my eye with the NYX, um, just a black NYX eyeliner pencil. Nothing too major, nothing too serious. And we're going to apply our blush. I'm going to take this uh, orange kind of looking blush here. And I always like to do a little fake smile when I put my blush and my highlighter on so I can make sure I get the apples of my cheeks. Top it off with some setting spray. Then I'm gonna apply my highlight. Ooh, so pretty. I love this highlight. It's my favorite highlighter ever. a little bit to the tip of my nose and to the bridge of my nose. I don't know. Some people don't like highlighter no more, but I do. As you can see. And right on the cupid's bow. I love a glow. I don't think I ever get tired of the glow. And I'm going to line my lips with a, um, I think it's just an NK lip liner pencil. I like these because they're real smooth. Uh-oh. Once the lips align, I'm going to apply some NYX Butter Gloss in the color... I think this is Fortune Cookie. This is the color Fortune Cookie. Okay. Period. She's feeling herself. She's loving it. So we're about to take these flexor rods out and get to the finished look. Boom! There she is. Thank you all for watching another makeup tutorial from me, Dominique LaRue. It has been a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you recreate this look, please be sure to tag me so that I can see it. And post you up on my page, girl. You enjoy, you guys, and bye-bye.